Here's the configuration. I like the Mark III optic, so I'm gonna throw that on at least for now. Ah, let's go back and look at the Jack Outlaw to start with. Jack Outlaw 277 increases damage to a one-shot kill through the upper torso, two shots to the lower torso, impacts ADS time, and flinch resistance. So I increase ADS to 252 milliseconds, 16% with the sawed off mod. The reflector does nothing. The long barrel doesn't hurt the ADS time, but it increases the damage, the effective range out to 22 and a half meters. And that combines for 22 and a half meters with the sonic suppressor, which impacts the sprint to fire time and the horizontal and vertical recoil. All right, there it is. Now, in case you're wondering, you get the Jack Outlaw 277 kit for the Bass B by completing five of seven week seven challenges. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes to complete all seven. They're, they're not really all that difficult. So this is my first, first time out. It's a single shot. You hit them in the head, they're dead. All the way out to about, I think it was 60 meters or so. You miss them, they're still alive. But you can rush with it. I got the feeling that the fire rate wasn't as good as what they say it is. Seriously, uh, you miss your shot, you're pretty much dead. You can see that. The crouch dude took me out, he gacked me. So I'm just getting the feel of the weapon. Boom. One thing I did notice, impossible not to really, was that it's a very precise weapon. I know people are clutching their pearls and going crazy and hyperventilating that this is an overpowered weapon, but it's absolutely a rock if you're not precise with your shot. Because the follow-up shot takes a lot longer than it says it does. It says its rate of fire is greater than the longbow, and I, I have a hard time believing that. <laughs> I took my time and lined up. I gave him a lot of love. Now, the one thing that is good about it is when you're rushing around. Even if you hit the guy in the hand, if you're within the kill range, which is, I think, 22.4 meters, even if you hit the guy in the hands, he's gacked. Got Richard Petty there. He'll never do NASCAR again if he keeps taking bullets. Soaking, doing my COD citizen's duty. And, of course, if somebody gives you a second chance, take it. I noticed too that the flinch wasn't that bad. So it's essentially like a, a sniper rifle, a pocket sniper, but it doesn't flinch like a sniper. And it aims down sight like a battle rifle. In other words, the aim assist is equivalent rotational and directional and inverted Lomshavak and all those other technical terms. Just like a battle rifle. So in that, whoop, in that case, you're better than a sniper rifle. But it's never going to out, out snipe the bass. The bass, it is the bass. It's never going to out snipe the longbow, nor is it going to out snipe something like the stalker or the inhibitor. They're much more powerful. So we're skipping around here because I don't think you want to see the Boeing parts where I'm running around trying to find people and not seeing people that are right beside me. It's good right up close though. So if a knifer's coming at you, you've got a shot. 
kind of like a shotgun. Now that, speaking of shotgun, that guy had the, the trigger down the entire time, and he sweeps left to right now. Being in the corner is never good. Hold that for me. Because when you're in the corner, it's easier to aim and hit you. That guy too. A pretty good player, the guy in the guy in white, Chalk Man. He walked around sweeping with his weapons. So I decided to try one more. And in this one I ran into the knifer of knifers. I call her right there, Firefly. Firefly, I watched a couple of her kill counts because I got to see a few after she killed me. And uh, she was running so fast that the kill cam couldn't keep up with her. It skipped. I've never seen that before. How fast fireflies go in there. I think Das House is a good test of this weapon because there's bullets flying from everywhere. But like I said, I don't think this is the most powerful gun in the game like some of the pearl clutchers are saying. I just think it's a a pretty good counter to the knifers and the stabbers and those folks out there and they are going to complain until this thing is nerfed. There's Firefly. <laughs> you saw how it worked against her. Now it doesn't work against her if she gets angles on you. I can attest to that one. There's Firefly. I got her. I'm willing to show take 20 deaths, there's Firefly, ruined her execution. No disrespect to the knifers out there. There's Firefly, who see up close, it's good. There's Firefly again, and she gacked me. Because knifing is difficult in most titles, it's the easiest thing there is to do, to be honest, in this title. At least Firefly isn't wearing a shield on top of the most powerful weapon on a small map in the whole arsenal is a knife. There's Firefly, got her right in the ear. I found it fairly good at, at medium ranges, especially since I extended the minimum range for a one-shot kill. And Firefly sticks it to me again. It's just, uh, like I, I keep saying, it's not the overpowered weapon, and plus, you know, I guess I'm pretty much an average player, maybe, and not a great sniper. I can snipe. But you have to be precise. you got to drive the nail, because if you don't, the hammer's going to come. There's Firefly. Got her. Willing to die. Take out Firefly. I'm a poet, don't know it. There she is again. Got her. Of course, I'm not willing to die that much just to shoot her. Got her again. And her buddy. There she comes. Uh, fair is fair. She stuck a knife in me. But, I mean, she was running so fast. Got her again. I was glad I had this weapon. I think the only thing that would have been better is a Lockwood 680 against her but even then once once she has an angle on you it's it's hard to come back and get a knife or, there, there she is got her just kept walking backwards let her run around there she is again already got, got her by this time she was probably saying nasty things about me okay so you know what cows are going to still continue to give milk World's not going to end as we know it. Like and subscribe. Peace. We're